I'm Sir Tap Tap. And sometimes you hear a name, a game's name, and you're like, is that, did somebody make that up? Is that a joke? But this is Soda Dungeon 2. There's apparently been two of these. Now this title three scheme, the title screen theme is kind of a bop, so maybe it's not that bad. Um, this is an idle game. It's got low power mode, so that's cool. Um, they know what, they know what user experience is, which automatically makes the game better than Abyssrium. <laughs> I always appreciate a little knowledge expressed there. So. In a dungeon far away, this is a free-to-play mobile game, by the way, a group of soda-filled adventurers make their last stand. We're almost there. Oh, that's not the voice that guy would have. Too late, I already said it. Yeah, and we don't stand a chance. Look, we've got to try. Try? Just try and stop me. Why did we, why did we kid this guy on the team? Tap directly onto an enemy to attack them. Defeat, oh. We have just killed God. It turns out God was a pushover. I like doofus over here. Oh, there's there was more. Are you ready for this evil guy? Why do we bring him along again? We didn't have much of a choice. Everyone's gone. It's just us. I know, I know. <laughs> We've got some good character variety here. You've got the dwarf. You've got the nurse lady. You've got... You know, Excavation Sam, Crazy Jenkins, Mysteria, Lord of the Elves, and Protagonist. Face us, you coward. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is a privilege you haven't earned. What you have earned, however, is a front row seat to your own destruction. I wish I could say that you inconvenienced my plan. But you don't even know what you're fighting against. You are inconsequential. Now say goodbye to this dimension. Oh crap, he's got Oblivion. That's a plus nine spell. Oh. And there goes the dimension, I guess. Well, thanks for watching my Let's Play. But yeah, this is an idle game. It's very... I was not expecting this level of production values. That's... Pretty intense. I did hear that it was good. I mean, it was good enough to get a sequel. Not that that necessarily means anything. Well then, I suppose that's that. No more soda. No more adventurers. Sorry, I had to see that, friend. Listen, the wizard gave me this trinket. Said you could take a person far away. Make them forget their troubles. I feel like this guy is about to sell me rope. Bombs. You want it? But the darkest lord. It was our trouble to sort out, not yours. If anyone deserves it, it's you. Maybe you can use it to find another land where the soda flows freely. The carbonation is just right. Mm, and that carbonation hits just right. Maybe just a place where Dark Lords, well, aren't so dark. Such as my fanfiction universe, where the Dark Lord is shipped with the reader. You know what, you know what my favorite fanfiction genre is? Reader x reader, where, where it's you, but it's you're dating you, <laughs> and that's a, real, that's a real genre of fic. I'm sure a lot of it is joking, but I'm sure some of it is very, very real. That, that's, a, that's a kink on its own, by the way, when you with yourself. Uh, I, I, people are weird, I don't know, man. I know you regret you forget our conversation, but I have a strange feeling. You'll be back one day. The stockpile of new sodas, gear, and warriors, of course. Right? Take the trinket and clutch it in your hand. Its soft glow catches your gaze, and you feel your vision relax. You blink, and the scene before you starts to blur. However, before you even have a chance to comprehend what is happening, darkness. Haha, <laughs> it was grimdark thick all along. Wearily, you open your eyes. You stand in a town that is strange but familiar. Oh, I didn't get to read the second part. You gotta you gotta let me click, man. I got 500 experience Chivo points for, for watching a cutscene. Welcome to Soda Dungeon! It sounds like an intriguing conversation is about to happen inside the tavern. Alright, we got quests. There's a Oh, that's the dungeon in the distance. You can tell because it's, you know, looming ominously. An ancient inactive structure. Oh. Y you doing good? That's right, as much as you can drink. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, Adam! No. No! Goodbye, everyone. I'm Sir Tap Tap. This is my last video. Fine. Fine! 
Oh, hello, strange traveler. Mind watching over a friend here. See to it that he earns some coin in that dungeon out there, and you might be able to keep some yourself. All right. Go, go into the dungeon. So this is an idle game. You can idle a party of up to six members, blah, blah, blah. But it's got combat and RPG stuff. Oh yeah, give me that gold. That that face that and that shape makes me highly uncomfortable. Please get rid of it. Thank you. Skelpington. Video video games and internet internet culture has destroyed my ability to find animated skeletons in video games scary. I'm not sure they were ever really scary. Hey man, that didn't feel good. Do you need to be healed? No. Okay. I hate that thing. Pretty good pixel art. I was expecting just like dumb, badly drawn things, but yeah, this is much higher production values than expecting out of a game called Soda Dungeon. Maybe they got all of their riches in first Soda Dungeon. Like, I, I never played it actually. This is my first time. Your health is low, but that's okay. Defeat is just part of the process. Ah, uh, yes, Vor Turtle. My oldest nemesis. This is not a sustainable lifestyle for a family man with an apple love for soda. I quit. Where did I leave my pants? We found a pelt. Your party's been wiped out, but your fighter left all his loot behind. Grab it and head back to the tavern. <laughs> you can just steal their stuff, I guess. Okay. Not bad. You might be just the person I need to manage these adventurers. Let's try giving our friend a... <laughs> It's like non-edgy darkest dungeon. Let's try giving our friend here some basic equipment. Looting the dungeon is the key to better items, but this will do for now, okay. Give him, <clears throat> okay, this is stool and broken glass, okay. Thanks. Okay. We can talk business later, okay. Change the order of your party, okay. Now we do two damage. Good, we destroy the horrible phallic shrooms instantly now. So, I'm probably just gonna show you just, I don't even know. I have a live stream in 20 minutes, so I, I don't know exactly know when to stop and I probably won't show too much of this because, you know, it's an idle game. They're fun, but they don't necessarily make the most exciting stuff. But, um, it's stuff to watch anyway. Well, at least that's that's my opinion. Maybe you would enjoy it, you know, watching a lot of clicking. <laughs> but um Oh three. See we got three quests. See that's the kind of excitement you can get from Nidal Game. <laughs> Ancient inactive str oh I, I clicked the thing again. What is this? Characters. So so can I rename him? Can I name him like Jim Jimbo? No. His skin is locked. His you can't you can't change the skin. Until later. Beautiful. Kawaii, in fact. But no, I can't I can't afford that. It, it kinda weirds me out that the back button is to the right. Feels like it should be to the left, but it, do, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Achieve let's give me some Chivos, please. Get ambushed. Full mastery. Oops. Achievement report has been sent. Okay. I think that's for if you played the game before. Oh sweet, it's got a bestiary. I love games with that. I love seeing all the little duders. Oh, it's gotta have lore though. Oh well, it's still decent. It gives you some basic information. But I like when there's some like stupid lore, like this guy eats beans or something. Alright, I need to fix this place up. Stock the right sodas, of course. There was gonna be sodas. Remember the sodas? Buy a stool. You gotta sit on a stool for, for you know, sodas. So does bring new adventurers to town. We not get to see them until after your next dungeon trip, though. Short on gold, don't forget to turn in your quests. Attracts woodworkers. Oh, woodworker soder. Soder. Yes. You'll need carpenters to expand your town. <laughs> Imagine if you, like, people had tastes based on what, like, job they had. No party members. <laughs> what a wonderful tavern this is, by the way. Imagine, like, sitting on a stool. And like, it's just an entire splinter. Like, it just pierces the entire body. Oh, I have a wooden sword now, though. I can. I bet I can beat the one thing that I couldn't beat last time. That's kind of the point of these kind of games, huh? 
What's this? Oh, you can heal. I didn't even notice that. The Vor Turtle has way less HP than I thought he would. All right, kill the thief first, maybe. All right, that was good strategery. You found some ore. Harvesting ore is optional, may produce precious crafting materials. Ore doesn't receive damage like normal enemies. Look for a special class to help you. I'm about to sneeze. Aw, oh, that's sneaky. I hate that. I hate that when you're like, all right, I'm gonna sneeze, and the sneeze is like, eh, eh, I'm shy. Like, screw you. All right, I'm gonna heal. Sweet. All right, so can I like, all right, I can't really defeat the ore. I need a dude. I need an ore dude to defeat the uh, stuff. Oh, they're doing just auto. Good. <laughs> I was about to say it might it might get tedious, but of course there's an auto. Music's not bad either. This is pretty neat for a dumb little, you know, idle kind of thing. Holy crap! I gotta find this thing. I imagine, I imagine this is a forced loss, isn't it? How much HP do you have, young man? Well, I didn't win. Oh well. Fortunately, that 100% run chance, though. Homst. Greetings! You're the carpenter, I, I guess? He's eating that pencil. Like, this is- that sustains him. He is a man of the wood, and he must consume what he is, so he consumes wood. He's a beaver, in all but body, and body. I was passing through the area and I had a little chat with the tavern owner. It sounds like my skill set could come in handy to you. Tell you what, I'll set up shop right here and for an industry competitive price, spell anything you need. Good. Being such a good sport, I'm even gonna throw in a mailbox for you. Yeah, give me that mailbox. Oh yeah, this is Animal Crossing now. Speaking of, I haven't played Animal Crossing in a long time. I New Horizons. I, I just not. I'm not a big fan of the release schedule and stuff. I don't want to play it like a mobile game, and like I don't know. Oh, we've got two of the same man. Can I get some better sodas? Get more stool. Thirty percent chance of attracting a patron. Oh, bed. Table. No, I want sodas though. Give me this. Oh, can't afford the sodas. All right, I want to get the miner. Can you give me a lot? Of, what? So that's like the shop that buys you more shops. I like it. Good. The the shop shop. Why don't more games have a shop shop where you can buy additional shops? This seems logical. This seems obvious, right? Just give me a shop to buy more shops. That's some Reseteer shit. Is that how you pronounce that? Reketeer? Reseteer? Like, I know that Racketeer is the joke, but I don't know if it's actually pronounced that way. That's, I never got too far in that game. It, it seemed neat and people seemed like... Very dramatic game. You've been slowed, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've played Final Fantasy, buddy. I know what slow is. Alright, can we beat... Can we beat the dragon? I consider this a complete win if we can defeat Dragon. Seems questionable. Oh god, it's got Meteor. Watching Meteor do four damage it hits me in a real weird way. That doesn't seem right. Wow, we actually beat Dragon. That was a that was a bad Dragon. That was that. Oh, oh. don't say, don't say that particular set of words. Tap tap. Um. <laughs> Rusty Sword. Would a rusty sword be better than a wooden sword? I guess it would. It's metal at least, it's heavy. That is an angry froge. That is a, oh, the warts on that thing. I would not want to touch it. I would demand that somebody else fight the toad. I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> Swol Swolkins McCork. This is, this is neat, I like this. Um, since we beat the dragon, I consider this complete. I consider tutorial complete. We're probably gonna die here soon anyway. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I might have to transfer this over to my phone and play it, um... Well, on my phone. Ow. 
soda junkie level up. So are all soda junkies the same soda junkie? Is how does that work? Loading ad. Thanks. <laughs> hey, it's only a five seconder. Kill him. Kill his family. Yes. Thanks. He's dead. Good. God bless America. All right, we'll watch one more cutscene. Oh, we got we got these boys now. The dungeon of ours seems to be filled with a lot of raw materials. Pelts, ores, monster parts, and so on. I think pelts qualify as monster parts. We need to find someone who can work with these resources. Here, take the steel. Pay the carpenter shop a visit and see if it's enough to get a blacksmith in these parts. Parch. All right, let's make a blacksmith real quick, Arena. Oh, no, I gotta go to the shop shop and purchase additional shops. Oh, in marketing for some crafting, are you? I can help you with that. This forge is a bit modest, but it'll do for now. Invest me some spare coin, though, and I'll be able to craft some exotic stuff. Oh, suppose I show you the basics then. Yeah, craft. Yeah, yeah. Coins make make sword. I don't have. I can't. I can't make anything. Some tutorial that is. Liquidate. Liquidating you zero gold. Oh, earn you zero gold. No, no, no. What? What's my gear? Ninety nine. Oh, neat. I like when games have like a quick do option like that. You're making good progress in the dungeon, friend. Let's keep it up. Complete the dungeon level 20. All right, let's hire these nerds. Oh, these boys cost money, huh? Well, I am like out of muns. Oh wait, here we go. All right. Well, I am Sir Tap Tap. This is Soda Dungeon 2, and I think I'm gonna check this out more on my own. This is uh, pretty cool. So, remember to like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments. I will see you later.